Alright, I just wanted to do a quick little demo between the Carbon Cub and the Super Stole since I'm into both planes and now I have one of each. Uh, just a little bit of background, We're gonna, I'm going to fly one then fly the other one in the same conditions. Uh, wind wise, there's almost no wind so it shouldn't be much of a factor. We are at 5,000 feet and according to my calculator here, uh, the density altitude is 6,100 feet right now. It'll be rising as we do this, it'll probably be about 65 by the time we get done. So you're not going to see awe-inspiring performance at 6,100 density altitude. But it'll give you an idea of the two being compared by the same pilot flying the same plane. If you look down there, there's the, that was roughly our 100 foot marker. I just pasted off there. Yeah, but I really like the Carbon Cub. It flies nice, handles nice. Um, if I was ever buying another one, I would look at the extended baggage as a half to. Um, the baggage area is not that great unless you fold the seat up. Um, so I think with the extended baggage, it wouldn't be a big drawback, but with the, with the regular baggage, it's not much. Um, on the Super Stole, um, it's a nice flying plane. The baggage is way bigger than this. You can have two people, a pile of stuff. Um, you do have a little less power, so it's got to be light stuff. You don't want to get it too heavy. Actually, this one does have the turbo. If I lived anywhere but Colorado, I would not get the turbo. I feel like the extra weight makes a little bit of a, you have to counterbalance. The Blue, is the turbo uh, different than like in a car? Do you have like turbo lag at all? Do you ever run into that? There's not do you a have lot to... of lag on the road tax, but okay. there is some. Okay. And then you got to let it idle to cool off. Okay. Mostly it just adds a little weight to the airframe. And this okay. plane is a weight sensitive plane. I think it would be... We built two of them, and the other one we built with a regular Rotax. And the cooling system on this is? Um, cooling system on this one's liquid cool, which I do it. like that part. It runs it runs pretty cool. Is it a maintenance I, issue any difference? or Less maintenance, I think, on this one. Okay. It, I, I haven't got enough experience to say, but what I've read about the Rotax, it sounds like it's going to be... And it burns car gas, which is real nice. Oh, it doesn't okay. Burn a, it doesn't burn a whole lot. About seems like four to five, although with the turbo, if you're really trying to get somewhere and you're running it hard, I've been able to suck about five and a half, six through it pretty easy. Um, yeah, so it's definitely a little bit of differences between the two. Now, as someone who's not familiar, can you change the props out on these for different performance, like yeah, gear really ratios? I've got a Kiev on this one right now. Okay. I had a um, Prince prop, which I believe is the best prop for this plane. Um, I loaned it to a buddy and he modified it a little bit on a rock and so now I'm running my key off. <laughs> um, but um, the Prince definitely added some takeoff. That's something to consider when you're watching this video. This plane gains about 20% with the big two blade prop. Um, it's losing something with this and it's not, this isn't even pitched super aggressive for climb. So that's something to keep in mind when you're watching the takeoff. What is a rated stall speed on a plane like this? You know, if, is it a rating? I think say? they say it's like 20. I haven't quite got it dialed in. And then sure. I fly up here in the mountains. You know, it makes a big difference. Yeah, sure. we're at 6,000 feet. And so everything kind of changes a little bit. I mean, the, and the indication on it doesn't seem to be very accurate. So um, let's see. I guess. All I, up weight on that one? I think we were at 850 on this one. And 930 there 930 with the extra with tires, the tires, with the big yeah. tires. Okay. And, um, and that, we, maybe we were 870 on this one. They're, they're not a huge amount of difference okay. in weight between the two, but there is some. Wingspans? Wingspans bigger. That's one thing I would say. I've flown the Super Stole down at sea level, and it really performs amazing down there. It's got a shorter, smaller wing, and so up here in the high country, it doesn't, it has, it'll, it'll land slow with the um, slats, but I don't feel like it has as much pull. If the Cub has that big wing, especially in the afternoons when it's hot, it seems like it's, and of course it has a bigger engine too, sure. but it seems like the handling on it when on a hot day, it's definitely got more lift reserve when you get down slower. He's up right at about 100 feet. Oh yeah, much shorter. I know the visibility is tough out of the snout. There we go. Boom. Less than 100 feet. Nice. Very nice. And again, about 100 feet out with the ATV. Mind. It's the same guy, but I probably would be better if I had 700 of this. 
as nifty as that. So, anyway, I just thought you guys might like to see it. I think he went up quicker. Maybe you go for a little height. Look at that little slip, bleed off some speed. Wonderful, I love it. Look at that, yeehaw. One have more rudder authority than the other, or anything? Or by the way, I loved your little slip coming in. Oh, <laughs> oh, that looks so nice, so nice. Yeah, no, I, um, they both have good rudder authority. Both have good control. With the turbo, I feel like the Super Stole is a little bit nose heavy. I've flown the one without the turbo, and I really like the balance on that. With the turbo, it's all right, but you definitely have added a little bit of weight to the front, and you have to put a little weight to the back. Um, and so I feel like it loses just a little bit on balance. Right? Are the brakes more sensitive on one versus the other? Um, well, so this is, take it, this is an old carbon cub. It has kind okay. of weak brakes. Um, the Super Stole has pretty darn good brakes. It's got double pucks. Um, so I, for mine, this one has better brakes, but I know all the new carbon cubs have double brakes, and okay. I hear they're really strong too. I, don't, I think both of them have good brakes. Um, the newer carbon cubs have better engine cooling. Mine can get a little hot sometimes when it's snow in summer. Somebody's having too much fun. Right, right, perfect. I think so. Nice. Float along the ground. Nice. No brakes. And so we just okay. got done landing the two. Um, we got the carbon cub here, the super stole here couple of things that are interesting um, on the Super Stool, it has, of course, it has the leading edge slats that come in and out, which I really like. It adds a lot of drag, but it adds a lot of lift as well, so it lets you come in at a steeper approach. For me, personally, in my opinion, I could land this shorter, I believe, if I had comparable experience in both planes. Um, right now, it's sort of the same, but sometimes I can still land this one shorter. Um, if you look on top of the wing, it does have spoilers that pop out of the top of the wing. That works so that um, low speeds, when you lower your aileron, you actually, it creates, it kills the lift on that side so you don't have the, it is likely to spin. Obviously it's got the big shocks, you can definitely land this a lot rougher. And it does drive a little nicer out through the rough ground.